Okay. Hi, everyone. We were waiting for the green light, but it never appeared. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Wow, that session this morning, I was like, I was here in the studio actually supporting in the in the studio team kind of in the back and uh, I got so inspired like even in the first 10 20 minutes I was having the biggest smile on my face already and uh, I don't know it just really resonated with me what David and Francis were sharing about this morning about just the joy and the gratitude really um, for our life and for the spirit and for everything that's being given to us every single day. And uh, yeah, I could really relate to Francis or bubbling joy. It was kind of, we were sharing a bit with each other before this session. And it's just kind of what's like, um, I don't know if it's overwhelmed, but like over, like that's really the main thing that I was feeling like this joy, like this joy and fun like just a lot of fun that we have every day. And uh, yeah, just feeling a lot of gratitude actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, and Zach's gonna join us a little bit later. Zach is actually live streaming all of this to YouTube and, and Facebook, but he will join us a little bit later and we're going to share a few songs and which was a lot of fun today too, because just last minute we were having all this inspiration coming through. Uh, just in the last two, three hours, actually, we were down here and like a couple more songs. We were just like, oh my God, we could do this one too. Oh, we haven't practiced for months. Okay, that's okay. We're just going to do it. Okay, we'll just have fun. Okay. So yeah, we'll share a little bit more later on, but we just had a lot of fun and I feel like I'm doing something that I used to say I will never ever do, which is improvising. Like when I was in, in high school or even like after high school, college, I think, I'm, yeah, we had some drama classes or things like that. And I actually walked out of the class <laughs> because I did not want to do improvising, but it just feels so much fun right now, like to do it with the spirit it feels like um, it feels like I'm playing, like I'm playing with my brothers and sisters every day. And you can't really get it wrong when you're playing, you know, like little kids, like playing in the sandbox or whatever. It's just, they're just playing. Like you can't really get it wrong. And yeah, I feel that's really where the miracle is for me. Like just this constant invitation to just relax, like, I've got it like that's constantly where I want to tune into just relax I've got it <laughs> like you can just relax into the miracle you don't have to like try to let the miracle happen or like it's not up to me my job is to show up really and and to relax and I feel like I'm still I'm still learning that like anything that's really blocking that relaxation um or feeling of fun and joy, yeah, that will come up. It will be washed, you know. Every day I feel something will come up, you know, maybe in relationship to someone here or who I collaborate with or, or seemingly just in my own thoughts, um, how I experience it. But, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of joy and a lot of gratitude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you were talking about improvisation, I was feeling like, yeah, each moment we go from scenario to scenario and we never know. I feel like I'm in a constant state like, OK, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Like, what are we doing? Show me, speak through me, like talk through me, uh, inspire me, move me. Uh, and it does, it feels like a constant flow where like it doesn't feel different like oh like this is different from what I was doing before it's like this joy that just starts and continues and keeps moving from one scene seemingly to another scene 
and it's just a, such a different experience to what I used to have where yeah I would go to work and just type away and then be like oh great it's five o'clock and then be happy about the five o'clock but then I got home and then things happen and it's like oh like these moments that you special moments like oh now I get to have one hour where I relax and then more problems and yeah, it's such a different life from that where every moment, moment is given to me just to experience this present moment joy and just to let go of everything that is blocking that. And there is such a privilege and such a gratitude that we're given this life uh, to lead. Um, yeah, and like it's there for all of us, but we would just need to say yes to it. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think when I think back about, you know, you said before, let's say pre-community in our in our case, you could say pre-community or pre-course or whatever, like before I went into the course, it was like I feel like the main thing that I'm conscious of right now is like prayer and communication those are the two things i feel are really like the day-to-day -day tools that we use like it's constant communication with each other and and prayer like i don't remember praying um like say six years ago i wasn't i didn't have a prayer life actually i didn't grow up with praying i, I think i pray you know at night or like when i was really oh something's really up you know help me god <laughs> you know i would reach out if i would be like in panic or there was something going wrong as i felt or oh i would pray <laughs> i would pray but but to pray you know pray without ceasing i love it when david said i pray without ceasing <laughs> i think that's so beautiful i feel like that's what what I'm coming into more and more like yeah that is the prayer of my heart to be constantly in this prayer like okay holy spirit guide me show me what's my next step show me how to go through this day show me where you want me to go who you want me to talk to um who you want me to meet and then I feel like that's a really big part actually of our life and then communication is like a, a major part which I feel always takes me out of the loop or out of the pit hole, how do you call it? It's like, I feel like communication is such, a, it can just kind of wipe all barriers. Even when I just came to community, I remember that I was actually still quite shy about sharing all my private thoughts. Like I knew it was safe in a sense, like, you know, it was, share like it's safe and people were sharing their private thoughts but i was still holding back a little bit but every little thing i was holding back would just become a story in my mind and i would feel like disconnected from from a brother or a sister i would live with or collaborate with but i feel like every time i open up with communication it's like oh a barrier kind of just drops i feel like every day even like marina and i actually live in this house together in quantico with Peter right now and Zach and Nicholas and these are kind of our day-to-day -day relationship like we meet each other in the kitchen every day multiple times a day and we have projects together and I feel often especially with you Marina like I feel a very um, intuitive connection or yeah sometimes I just feel like it's like where's Marina like if Marina kind of drops from my mind it kind of rings a bell for me because she's one of my main relationships I feel here we have so many collaborations like I, I work on our mailing list, for example, like newsletters Marina helps with the Spanish team to translate it and we send it out in Spanish and there's so much communication that happens in our projects and if I don't feel 100% clear with Marina. I do not feel good <laughs> like and I can maybe hold that for a few hours you know it's like the pain isn't you know I can still like tolerate the pain sometimes but it's getting less and less actually that I can tolerate like feeling disconnected seemingly from Marina but it's just you know it's from my own mind but I feel like and then you know just going towards Marina and saying hey do you want to have a cup of coffee together <laughs> you know hey you're free I was just walk downstairs and we just sit together and, and share our private thoughts and yeah, it just feels like such a blessing to 
like to have all these relationships, like all of us, because we all share this purpose that we know it's safe to share these private thoughts. And I really feel the more, the more we clean out all those grievances and which often for me is re are really thoughts about myself actually underneath it. I feel every time when I, I see it more and more when I have a grievance seemingly with Marina, it's actually, I feel like worthless or like there's something underneath it that's just covering over it. And, and I, yeah, I feel like the more and more we clean it out, the more and more the miracles start to like, I don't know, take over my mind every day because it's clean like it's clean and it's fresh it's like a clean blank slate and then the miracle is just kind of yeah sparkly on your eyes <laughs> like truly and yeah i feel like our days it's just like a blessing every day to have that that experience yeah <laughs> I was just sharing this morning here with the, what happened yesterday, like yesterday morning, I just like an example, it was just fun. Like yesterday morning, I had a prayer. Um, I know it's just this prayer of like, wow, I'm really interested in like, maybe I want to read some Psalms or something like I've never read the Bible or like Psalms. I, I heard about it and, you know, read about like Jesus is where Jesus is parables and things like that and and i just i just felt that in my mind yesterday morning early in the morning and and then i was just kind of going about my day and not 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 long after that the doorbell rang and uh, i was like oh i'll go i have no idea who's at the door but i'll go and uh, i opened the door and there's two jehovah's witnesses two really sweet ladies were at the door and the first question but i was already like you know i had this prayer and then the first question they asked me was, they were super sweet. And I'm like, okay, can I ask you a question? Yes, sure. Do you believe in eternal life? And I could just feel the spirit was coming through me with so much joy because my response was, yes. <laughs> I was kind of surprised about my own yes. <laughs> and how, like, I don't know, like just like flooded out of me. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and the lady was like, oh, wonderful tell me about it and i said well i love jesus and that just came out of my mouth like involuntary i had no idea what i was doing like no idea and uh, so that was and then we just had a little conversation and um yeah it was just so beautiful like like even with religion like it was no discussion and it was just joining together in the miracle of the joy and the love of god really it was so sweet and she asked me do you know the one thing that God cannot do? I was just praying because I, 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 no, I don't read the Bible. I don't know what they're talking about, but it's in my mind and me, it said, judge, like God cannot judge. Like, and I thought, and, and the moment I heard the answer, I was like, yeah, of course, thanks spirit. And then she, she opened her Bible and I said, yeah, in the Bible it says God, God cannot lie. That's the one thing God cannot do. And it, I just felt like this, yes like we're we're yes we are connected like the miracle was just taking over it was such a joyful loving holy encounter um at the door and i was just i was just lit up after that like it was so beautiful yeah and I, I don't know it's just like these little miracles that are given us on our path like throughout the day these little stepping stones of miracles and yeah it's so beautiful <laughs> Hmm. yeah when you were speaking you were saying god cannot lie and he's going back to that state where yeah he's so transparent he just mm -hmm. gives and only gives and then the prayer of the heart is i want to give like god gives and i want to be as like completely transparent so only his light can shine through me mm -hmm. and i can see that for myself as you said before it's for us it's all about communication and that's the prayer of my heart just to really truly deeply be in constant communication throughout the day all day long and praying with no ceasing in connection in communication and then 
just let allow myself to flow with it and then but it doesn't happen for me as a constant state and then it's seeing okay i'm not feeling great right now i feel like something's going on with me and then it's going back to okay what are the thoughts and then i can always see that there was a thought that blocked it there was a thought that i wanted to keep and a thought that i didn't want to share a thought that i wanted to protect and sometimes they seem to be so small, like in the like that's so small. So there you go, like just put it to the side, dismiss it. But it's not small at all because that one little tiny thought just is changing my whole experience. It's like blocking the flow. It's making me feel disconnected. It's making me feel alone. And then once again and again, I have to like pray, show me because sometimes I am aware of that thought that sneaks in, and then sometimes I'm not. It's like I don't know why. What, what what did I think and uh, what am I holding on to what am I protecting I can't see and then that's why also it's so helpful to have mighty companions around us who uh, which who we can pray with or are not necessarily around us it could be zoom or and it's like I and then it's with a prayer in the heart just with a prayer in the heart just share. Start, I, sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to share. I'm just like praying. I just mean, <laughs> like, I don't know what I, I don't know what the problem is that the solu- that the plan is meant to solve. I'm like, I don't know what the problem is, but I don't feel good. Mm. And then I start sharing, and then one like one thought goes to one thought, another thought, another thought, and then it's like, oh, there it was. Mm. And then the emotion comes, and it's like, oh, thank you, there it was. And sometimes it, it just releases in that moment, and sometimes I can see, okay, I was avoiding going. To towards that person and I was avoiding seeing saying this and then I can see why I was avoiding it because it would mean that I would have to go deeper into my emotions and I, I something in me it doesn't want to go there it's like no 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 like sometimes there is pride or even below pride is a lack of worth yeah like I feel like I'm wor- I'm, I'm worthy of love or I'm worthy of the connection or I'm scared I like, I'm terrified of that love. I'm like, okay, if I go towards there, maybe I'm going to be whooshed with love. I don't know if I can keep taking it. Like sometimes the day flows. It's like, oh my God, so much love. And it's like, okay, I, I, I the too much spirit. Like, and then, yeah, but it, no, it's never a good idea to say that. <laughs> too much spirit. And then you, you close down and then it's like, okay. Uh, but yeah, one can only take what, what one is ready to take. And the spirit is so gentle and loving and, yeah and i also see that if one like if you just allow yourself to take the next step and follow the spirit it's very gentle and loving it only starts getting intense when i try to resist it but if i accept it then it's just yeah like you're floating or flowing and you're like that scenery like you're going from scene to scene and they all feel beautiful when you're in in that state of mind or in that connection but it, is, it all takes it back to the communication, whether it's like I feel ver- even verbal or non-verbal, but it's a communication in my mind with the spirit mm-hmm. and allowing myself to be so transparent and to be like also allow myself to be where I'm at. Like that's something that is coming a lot to me. And also also like where I'm, I'm here, like thinking this thought, I feel like I'm here. I feel, I think these thoughts and then allow myself to be honest about them and share them. And sometimes I could see that before it's like, oh my God, I didn't want to admit to myself that I had those thoughts. Like, oh, maybe I'm not, if I share these thoughts, I'm not as spiritually advanced (laughs) as I, like, if I share this, like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm I'm at the start actually. And then it's like, yeah, well, maybe that's the best course of action. Just admit where you're at, you know, and then you can let it go. But if I try to yeah, even protect that or think I am somewhere that I'm not, then I am, I'm stuck. And for me, it has been like, yeah, last year or, and especially now, just allowing myself more and more to be really honest with mm-hmm. yeah, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling and sharing it. And yeah, be vulnerable, like feel like I'm being vulnerable uh, with that. Yeah, but it, and it feels so freeing too. 
Um, and I also feel like when like the spirit can have so much fun with all of that. I could hear like Wesley share his thoughts and then David was saying, oh, you can just then laugh about it. And I can see that. Yeah, I sometimes see that I am speaking to someone and these thoughts come like they're from the spirit. And he, he like the spirit just wants to laugh with me about like my personal, like Marina's personality and make a joke out of it. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I just said that. And he's like, oh. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Like I'm just hearing myself speak these words, and my my ego, like just, like I can feel the spirit trying to say it, and my ego is like, oh, you cannot say that, and it's like, oops, I just said it, and then you just have so much fun uh, because yeah, they're just really like ego thoughts. They're nothing. They're just yeah to be laughed at, and yeah, there's so much lightness when I I feel when I allow myself to do that. But then I can see yeah, I have to stop protecting even like myself or my concept and be able to laugh at it <laughs> so, especially yeah. the spiritual content yes <laughs> yes oh i'm spiritual i shouldn't have these attack thoughts yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah we were talking a little bit earlier too about like how involuntary everything is because sometimes i don't see it maybe with myself but i can see it with with everybody around me like how the spirit works and i feel um yeah we were just talking like every time we put out a prayer like the spirit always answers that prayer like always and i've seen also like immediate like pretty immediate when you when you have a prayer and uh, i see deborah <laughs> but uh, yeah it's so beautiful because yeah, I don't know, like in the last year, I've seen it with you, I was just sharing, like Marina had this, prayer. I think it was a year and a half ago, a year ago, like you had this, well, when you came, actually, when you came into the community, like Marina was given, like she had so much to give, like it was so fresh too, like, okay, I'm here, God, like just show me, and then whoom, the Spanish ministry was given to Marina, and you took it fully, like fully, like she took it on fully. It was so beautiful. We had so many events, like everything kind of expanded really from that calling. And, and those who needed to be part of it showed up to support and to be part of that huge collaboration and a ton of miracles. And it was really beautiful. And then there, there came a time that it was just like, I can't feel it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I don't know exactly. Maybe you can share a bit, but it was like a switch, a shift that happened. Yeah, I feel like when I came, I did feel like, oh my God, I, I feel I, I, I said, I need to speak. I first I was like, I need to share my voice so much. I tried like before I, I felt like I needed to say something, but I felt so unworthy. And I felt no one had anything, like I had nothing to say and no one wants to listen. And, but I could feel it like something inside of me, like you, like I want to speak, but I didn't know how it would come and I want to give and I want to share anything, like everything that I can. And I also felt so blessed because I could listen to David in English. And I have been so blessed to being able to listen to these teachings in such a deep, like such deep teachings in such a pure way. And it was penetrating my heart and I felt blessed by it. And I was like, I need to share this and I need to, and I, I need to share it in Spanish. Like I could do that. And then that's when the Spanish ministry came and, but, and I, I said, yes, I felt the yes. And, I took it as much as I could take it and then they reached a point where I felt like yeah I had a lot of a doer in me a lot of a doer I felt like I needed to personally do it and I need to do the best I can and I need to really give it my all but it was not all from spirit the spirit was using it he was like okay you have this part in your mind your mind that feels that it needs to do and I'm going to completely use it and he used me uh, as much as I allowed <laughs> and then it came a, a yeah a moment that I, it was almost the end of the year and we're doing Spanish retreats and then something in me said, I love you, God. I want to be with you, but I feel like I need to rest. I can't keep doing like I'm doing. I need you. I, I can't keep doing anymore. I need you to do it through me now. And then something just cracked, like something completely cracked in me. And 
I, I, then it all started changing. I didn't even say a word, but that was the prayer that I was having. And like this feeling that I was, feel, the feeling was like, I just want to be with you. I don't care what I do, but I cannot take, like, I cannot have that part in my mind any longer. And then David said, oh, uh, maybe we don't have any more Spanish only retreats. Maybe we just do English ones and like there is just translation. And I was like, woof, a whole mm. aspect just fell down. And I was and I, I had a lot of emotion. I felt like I was letting part of myself go in that. It didn't feel like, oh, that, that's the Spanish ministry or an event. It felt, also, I feel like that was happening too, that my personality was getting associated with Marina and Spanish ministry. This is who you are. And then I wanted more than, like, I wanted something deeper than that. And then, so yeah, when that direction came, I could feel myself go, let myself, my like my personality a part of it just go and i for and it kept getting deeper because then at the time there was anna here and then it reached a point where i started feeling oh i feel like the spanish ministry is for anna but no one's saying anything so it actually had to come from me and just say this is, i feel this is for you now and i had to give